Photoshop fan, we are back. And listen, if you have not downloaded my free retouching actions, my free editing video, you need to go grab that. The editing training, it has like literally a practice image and a full-blown editing video for you. It's in the description. It also, if you haven't grabbed my retouching starter pack, go grab those. Now, today is an interesting video. My client actually wanted me to edit her a ball into this photo. So... I'm going to edit a ball into this photo. And I'm going to show you how I did. I already did already, but I don't know where the final image is. But what we're going to do is we're going to go on Safari. And we need to find us a basketball. So let's find us a basketball right quick. Let's find us a basketball. Basketball PNG. Let's see what we find. Let's see what we find. You always want to use PNGs, y'all. You always want to use PNGs. This one looks more on the realistic side. So I'm going to use this one. So the cool thing about Mac is you can literally just take stuff and drag it over. So that's all I did was took it and drag it over. And what I'm going to do is make this thing bigger. I need to remove this black, this white background out of it. So... In order for me to do that, I'm going to go to select subject while I'm clicked on this layer. And I'm it's going to select it for me. Hit Command C or Control C. And then hit Command V to paste, duplicate that bottom. And it's going to give me exactly what I need. Now, we got to play around with this. I want to make it small enough, right? Not too big, but not too fake. Like you can kind of tell that's fake. So I think about right here, it'll be cool. And then the, what we need to do is we need to add a motion blur on this to make it look like it was moving. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to blur, motion blur, and we need to make this thing look like it's moving. So let's just, I need to see what it's going to look like first. I think about, let's see. Yeah, because it's bouncing downwards. So I don't like it's going downwards. I think about right here. And then we can take the, the blur off the distance just a little bit so you can see that it's a basketball. Boom. And then I'm just going to color grade it just a little bit. I want to make it just a little darker so it can kind of blend in a little bit. So we're going to go to levels. And I'm just going to drag. Uh, make, make sure you clip it, too. I'm clipping it. You clip right here. Cause with the clipping, you only apply the effect to the layer under it. So I'm just going to play around with it, see what we get. Bring the highlights up some. Even looking at this make my eyes blurry. Boom. And we got the shadow on this side. Then we got the light right there. And let's group this together. Let's look at it before and after. Before, after, before, after. That is fire, y'all. It's like she dribbling the basketball. <laughs> I can't wait to see y'all at the five-day editing challenge, y'all. I, I, we about to get straight into it. Coach Jet out. Thank you.